Hello, I hope you're doing well and welcome to The Expanse, a Telltale series, the alternative walkthrough without commentary. This is the second walkthrough, here I show you the other choices. I hope you will like this walkthrough, like it if you do, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and thank you for watching. Enjoy, Belta Loda. Please, Kamina, don't do this. I'll do anything, anything, I swear. How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. The time before that. And the tin time before that. How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. Her body can't heal under this burn. Even Khan needs to rest sometime. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. Uh, don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates? Fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Virgil has the med bay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. What do you think Cox would do? He sure as fuck wouldn't be asking me about it. Cox went with his gut, for better and worse. That's what a captain does. But maybe you're no fucking captain, Captain. Coordinates, 8214. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or any other fucking thing. How large was this battle? Large enough for a pissant ensign like me to hear about it. I'd guess nearly a dozen ships? New plan! We run for cover, in there! Won't work, boss man. Even if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Could work, if there is actually something there. Stations! Con, on my board, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn.
5G! 6G! Turning now! in the debris field. <laughs> you did it, Barsmang! Fucking legend! Quiet! We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Baratna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. Virgil's our doctor. He's what we have. The prosthetic is ready. Is the, uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. I'm picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for their reaction mass. What a mess. What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Delta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board, though. I'll never look at a containment vault the same again after that terrible situation with Rayan. Rayan, how's the new prosthetic doing? Sometimes it feels just like my old leg, but then sometimes it feels like it's the stranger who won't let go of me. And then it starts itching so bad. Quit whining. You made the right call, Cap. Ray wasn't using his leg much anyway. <laughs> Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. <sighs> nice toss, Cap. <laughs> Woo! Boss man, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, 
Your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. This is different. He's... He's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but... But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah. Ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He's tough. But... Thought you should know. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock kept us on track, but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic and... What the... Oye, Maya. Shit. Maya is always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pasheng Fong. Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. <laughs> Typical Inyas. Travel all the way out here, yet can't break free from their peppy plant extract. Some people don't have anything real to care about. Virgil will probably appreciate these mushrooms. Oh, maybe he'll make white kibble when we get back. Cap, what do you think of Virgil? You trust him? Not sure. I don't know what Cox was talking about in the mess hall, and Virgil doesn't seem willing to talk about it. Not willing to talk, or not willing to talk to Beltas? The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta. Had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh. Yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. Gotta be something in here that can help Arlen.
Got a barrel here. I'll take that. Good work, Sasata. Boss Meng, head over to the Belta ship. It's locked down, but I think I can blast us inside. Got it. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? We've been on the run for a week because somebody thinks so. Thinks so with a lot of torpedoes and guns, even. Must be the captain. Very proud of his connections to the UN and brass. So the Belters stole some tech from the MCRN. That's how this started. Then why did the UNN get involved? Because they think they own the Void. Had to throw their weight around once the Belters entered their territory. Of course they did. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedoes! Give those sons of bitches a welcome, or I'll throw you in the brig! Sit down, or I'll cut off the other arm! Sorry, Cap, what was that? Wait, are the pirates attacking? No! Khan is just a little woozy from the anesthesia. Don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna knock her out if she gets up again. Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. Real Earth Whiskey. Even Cox has to settle for the Belta stuff. Earthers love their oceans. Too bad they destroyed them all. Is everything, um... Okay, she just said... We've been boarded, and now she's wandering around looking for intruders, so everything's fine. Maya? Are you afraid of the elderly woman with one arm? Fuck off. You weren't here. You didn't see the look in her eyes when she... Wait. Hey there! Do you want to lie down for a minute? Do you want to fucking die?! Oh, no. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. Hmm, another blast door. Pashing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. Yalek Pashang! If there's one thing all Belters can agree on, is that the moldy Belters kick ass. Please tell me you're still alive. Okay. Khan and I had to trade a few punches, but we got her calm enough to attach the prosthetic. Aw, were you worried about me?
A rampaging pilot on a drug-fueled hallucination? I never doubted you for a second. Goddamn right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find an ice pack. That went surprisingly well. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belta sector. Almost made it. Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erda and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands. After I wiped the floor with doors one time, he declared that Gogo -Go was frivolous and banned OPA from play. <laughs> Typical. That a cube hacker might be useful. Sure, might let you break into Rayon's special data drives. Set up push to! Found another barrel. Woo! This is loaded! Or oh, whatever the Inyas say. <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! I've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order.
picking up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit. Cap, you got to get back here. Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. Sabaka? I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to trace the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. You're a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drama. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants. This one looks like an inner. Guess Toussaint and I have one thing in common. Keeping a crew of belters and inners from killing each other.
Yuri Motek, first gunner. Lucky he missed me. You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were... They were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone, stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to comb through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. Sabaka! Are you crazy? You could get killed. So could you. Now step back and let me do my job. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shut off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. There! Well, 
I believe celebrations are in order. Coordinates are set for the MK Corps. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede, at least. And how is the new... prosthetic? It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. Hey, Cog. Resting. Go away. <clears throat> Any guesses on our destination? Not a... All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. Good talking to you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> talking to Khan feels like, well, having your arm cut off. It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. Poof, Lota. Cox was even more unhinged than I imagined. Don't see myself drinking a dead man's scotch anytime soon. Eh, maybe if things get desperate. What are these? Decryption keys? Pushing voila! I knew Cox was paranoid, but spying on his crew? He just can't help himself. Say what you will about Virgil, but he takes his job as ship's medic very seriously. The one thing I know about Virgil is that he's an excellent doctor. The rest is a mystery. 
Cox said Virgil was hiding something. Let's find out. For an inner, he does make an excellent red kibble. Looks like Virgil has some anxiety from his past. Glad to see he is managing it. Virgil grew up on Luna, but he's not like some inners. He actually thinks of Belters as people. Virgil's private computer. Must be something here. Encrypted. But I picked up a data cube hacker in that ship graveyard. Should tell me what Virgil is hiding. Hopefully this data hacker I found still works. Bingo. Apparently there's a lot Virgil hasn't shared about his past. Like his time as a UNN soldier. Not only did Virgil hide his UNN service and his real name, he's also wanted by his own government for desertion. I should try to get more information from him. Whoever took Khan's barbecue sauce is a lot braver or stupider than I am. Arlen cheats Rayan like he's the weak one. But I haven't heard a single complaint from Rayan since his surgery. Now that I know the truth about Virgil, it's time to get some answers from him. What's on your mind, Captain? You served in the UNN. As a medic, yes. It was the only way I could afford medical school on Luna. Hmm. Why did you desert? Because I was finding it harder and harder to live with myself. Being stationed in the belt, I was surrounded by people in desperate need of my help. But because of the badge on my chest and the gun on my back, I was their enemy. One day, It became too much to bear. You could have helped if you wanted. You made the choice to remain loyal to them. You're right. It seemed impossible to break free of the UNN until I finally did. Now I only wish I had done so sooner. I'm sorry, Captain. I hope that my actions on this ship can offer some amends for my past. Why should I trust you? Because I sacrificed everything I have to get away from my past and start a new life here in the belt. You 
you seem upset again. I'm sorry. I don't like to be reminded of my past. But I will endeavor to earn your trust going forward. Get some rest, Virgil. Captain, is my UNN past going to be a problem for us? You were stationed in the belt. That means you were occupying my home. I know. Cox was a bastard. But at least he was upfront about his past. You were not. I understand. I hope to earn your trust back somehow. I was skeptical of Virgil's maggot farm that he claimed would be useful in the event of an amputation. Now I'm hoping we have enough for Khan and Rayan. Anderson's station changed everything. Taking Cox's gun from him was as close to a captaincy ceremony as I'm likely to get. Saving this containment vault was an awful call to have to make. But without the fuel, ammo, and oxygen it contains, we could end up losing a lot more than just a leg. Honestly, I'm glad Maya finally got one. This was starting to get sad. I suppose this is what downtime looks like for Maya. What are you listening to? It's Martian music. You wouldn't like it. You're right. I can't stand that twangy acoustic for Lota. Typical close-minded belter. If you change your mind, you can give it a listen. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um, about that moment in the airlock. Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared, given how tightly you were holding my hand. I 
I noticed how terrified you were. Must have been your first time facing real danger. And my first time comforting my terrified captain. I'm here if you need to talk, by the way. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusional fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Let's pretend for a moment that we did touch helmets. So what? You're clearly obsessing over such an insignificant moment. It's sad. Bullshit. From the look in your eyes, I would have thought helmet clinking was Belter third base. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and settle it. I'm confused. Are you still trying to fight me? Either way, someone will definitely be getting slammed against a wall. If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? Sorry, Maya. Go to sleep, Captain. Pashang. Are you watching me? No. Now sleep.
There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? <laughs> 